Shalom. Call Halal, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwaf, that will be you, brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratazah, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson is going to be entitled, Take Notice and Keep Watch. Take Notice and Keep Watch. That's going to be the title of today's lesson. Take Notice and Keep Watch. All right, now... I had my observation up on a on a particular restaurant chain that I took notice of and um, I noticed that every time I pass one of these establishments you know because when I get off from work sometimes I've been doing Uber and Lyft and I pass um, a particular uh, food chain the Boston Market right I noticed I see it kind of, they close up or board up. I ain't seen no employees and I ain't seen no, no vehicles in the, in, in, the, um, in the parking lot. So I'm thinking to myself, this Boston market looks like it's going away. Because it looks like it's, the, the food chain is closing down. But I didn't see no article. I didn't read anything about it. But I noticed every time I pass a different Boston market in a different area, I was just telling the lady who I was taking the other, other day for uh, taking, uh, giving a ride, and I was showing up. I said that Boston Market looked closed. I said to her, I say, I was about to drop off, and I said that Boston Market looked closed. And I was telling her like, that's the third Boston Market I've seen in a different area that it look it, it, it looks closed, right? So I'm to work today now. I'm on my lunch break about doing this lesson now. But what sparked this lesson it was I was listening to the elder uh, Malcolm from the, the the head of Chicago, the Chicago GMS camp, right? Uh, his channel is. Um, GMS Maccabean Spirit. You have a few different channels, but it's on this particular one here. Um, the, the the video is titled "The Dollar Is an The Dollar Is at an End." The dollar is at an end. Short-lived digital is about to launch. Okay, it says MOTB deniers will be exposed. So that's the name of the video. But uh, yeah, you could um uh, subscribe and be edified. Of the, of, the, of the elders channel okay GMS Maccabean Spirit but um, I'm gonna play a short portion of his video because this is what gave me the inspiration to make this lesson because he had mentioned how Boston Market is closing down nationwide and I didn't know that I didn't read any article or anything like that but that's why I need the the, 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 the title of this lesson was is, is take notice because that's something that I took notice of I took notice of I noticed I, every time I pass a Boston market, it looks shut down. So I noticed that, that my, my observation to the spirit was telling me this, this place looking like at closing down, right? But I, I ain't seen no article on it. I, had no, I, I ain't seen nothing on it. But remember, we are commanded to keep watch because at the end of the day, that goes into the famine. You know, the Lord said there'll be famines, you know, shortages of food. So that's something we ought to watch. We have to have, have observation of things that's happening around us. You got to keep watch. We are commanded to watch. So I took notice of that. But like I say, listening to the elder's lesson, okay, he actually said it. And I was, I was like, that's the spirit because that's what I was thinking all along. I just didn't see no news about it or anything like that. But when the elder said it, I said, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Family of the word. Okay. Uh, no, no work for Egypt. All right. Uh, 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 you know, Everything is being brought low, man. We're in high inflation. So you have to observe. You have to uh, take observation of these things. You know, but let's listen to a piece of the elders' video, and we're going to get some scriptures, and we're going to close it up. All right? So we're going to listen about, from about the 10-minute 10, uh, 10 mark, 10 minutes, 30, 13 seconds, 
We're gonna listen for about uh, maybe three, two to three minutes. But let's listen to the video. So, Lucky, like uh, let me turn off the notification so you can actually hear it. Lucky, like real quick. Here we go. So, Lucky, I had to pause it for a second just to back up the elder. Boston Market did have some good food. <laughs> Trust me, Boston Market, you know, for, for a chain restaurant, you know, for, for a fast food chain restaurant, Boston Market did have some good food. That's why I don't understand how how, how they're closing down. To me, that's it's mind-boggling. But at the same time, we know it's prophecy, you know? You, you do this thing, say, um, you know, because their food was pretty good. It wasn't, you know... Boston Market had some good food for a chain restaurant. But showing you that the times that we're living in and that everything has to move to the tune of prophecy, okay, there must be a famine, okay? There ain't going to be no work for Egypt. These things are written in the scriptures, so we know it must come to pass, you know? So it doesn't matter what restaurant it is, you know? But, um, yeah, let's listen on. Yeah, so that was the point. You know, the point is, that's what sparked the inspiration for this lesson. When the elder had said, you know, Boston Market was closing down because I, that's not something what I read about in the article or seen on the news or anything like that. It's something that I took notice of, you know, when I'm driving and doing Lyft or Uber or whatever the case might be. I noticed I see, you know, I, I ain't see nobody in the parking lot. I'm looking inside the restaurant, but I ain't seen nobody. And I'm like... If Boston Market going away, cause that's like my third uh, 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 location that I saw that nobody was in the restaurant, the parking lot was empty, and it just have a look like it's not operational. But like I say, I took notice of that, and so remember we are we are commanded to watch. And but I, like I say, when the elder said that, when I was listening to his video today, and I heard him said it, I was like, that's the spirit, because that was I was wondering that, and 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 see. He confirmed it for me. He confirmed it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some scriptures. Okay. Let's go. Uh, let's get to the scriptures, and then um, okay, we we can bring the lesson to a close. Okay. So let's go to the scriptures, and we're gonna start in the book of Ecclesiastes, the twelfth chapter. All right, and the first verse. It says, I remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not. So you got to remember the Lord, man, in your young days. All right, especially how, how you have this grace period right now and you have liberty to serve the Lord and seek him and repent. Uh, and you, you're able to have money to spend now, the roof over your head and all these things right now. You need to remember the Lord, man, before the evil days come, before the bad times come, because evil is a compound word. All right, when you break it down, it means bad times, okay? All right, you see? Eve meaning time and ill meaning bad. It says, remember now, that the the, remember now the creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. All right? Before the bad times come, because it's coming. It says, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. It says, while the sun, or the light, or the moon, or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. Okay, so you want to, Seek the Lord in these times so that you may have a, a hedge of protection. 
Okay, reading on, verse 12, Salakia. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 3. It says, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. Okay, that's going into your, uh, 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 your, your, your pronosticators and uh, uh, those in the financial sector. Uh, okay, and these, um, uh, uh, what, what, what's the term they call them? Uh, those, those financial advisors and, okay, those, those that are, uh, uh, watch for the markets, man. And the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few. That's going into the jobs. You see? These Boston markets closing down, and they have articles going into uh, several businesses. I did some before, videos on them. Several businesses and different type of establishments that's going under, man. We never really fully recovered from um, 2000, the 2008 uh, 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 recession. And then we just had the, 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 the two years of a straight lockdown, okay? A lot of mom and pop's business went under. They never, they never came back afloat, okay? Now we have high inflation and the housing market is out of control. We have a, 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 a debt that's over, surpassed 30 trillion, okay? It's already surpassed 30 trillion, man, okay? So you might want to think about that, all right? It says... Um, it says, and the grinders cease because they are few, right? A lot of people are, are out of jobs. A lot of people are homeless. They, the, the middle class is being gutted out. So now you're to a point where it's just going to be the rich and the poor. Okay? It says, the grinders cease because they are few. And in the work, the jobs. So if you have places like Boston Markets, those places employ a lot of employees, man. Nationwide? Come on, man. Right? It says, and the grinders cease because they are few. And those that look out of the windows be dark and meaning the future is gonna the future looking grim. Okay? It says verse 4, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. See? And and, sh and he shall rise up at the voice of a bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And that happened, you got a taste of that during the shutdown uh, of the Royal Crown. Uh, it wasn't no concerts going on. Showing you this book is alive and well, man. You see? But yeah. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. Right now, Boston markets, their, their doors are, sh are shut in the streets. You see? And there is more to come. Ain't no going around the scriptures. A lot of more businesses, if you do Google searches right now, you can find a whole lot of articles that tell you about some high-end businesses and establishments that's going under, man. Okay? Real talk. But let's get... um. Let's go to the book of Isaiah and pull two precepts out of there. All right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, and verse 1. Concerning our own people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Lord said he would do this, man. All right, Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 1, it says, For behold, the Lord, all right, the Lord of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem. Remember, Jerusalem is the people before it's a place. All right? Doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah, the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. Okay, that represents your means of, 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 of eating, man. Okay, how are you going to get your daily bread? All right, the Lord said you're going to take these things away, man. Scripture speaks about, uh, about famine, man. Okay, a shortage of food. That was, that's what a famine means. It's a shortage of food. Okay, and it's gonna be no work for Egypt, man. All right, let's get that. Let's stay in the book of Isaiah. Stay in the book of Isaiah and head to the 19th verse, the 19th chapter, Salakia. Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 16. Salakia verse 15. Isaiah chapter 19 verse 15. It says, "Neither shall there be any work." For Egypt, so this Egypt right now is not speaking about ancient Egypt in this chapter, in this verse. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 15, this Egypt is speaking about America. Because America is known as spiritual Egypt when you read Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. Okay? So this is speaking about, in this time, the daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America. This is spiritual Egypt. Okay? Spiritual Nineveh, spiritual Assyria, spiritual Babylon. Okay, spiritual Egypt, because this is this is the place of our captivity. 
Okay? It says, Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, all right, which the head or tail branch or rush may do. Neither shall there be any work, see? So the Lord has taken away the whole stay, the, uh, 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 the staff and the stay of bread and water, man. The way, the way that you get your bread and water and the bread and water itself. Okay? No work for Egypt, man. Okay? So, going back to the title of the lesson, take notice, man. I took notice of that. All right? You have to take observation because why? We're commanded to watch. We're commanded to, to measure the times diligently, as the scripture says, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. Measure the time diligently within itself. And when you see part of the signs come to pass that I've told thee, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time where the highest, the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right, the Lord is visiting the earth in many different ways, man. Okay? But the only way you could see it, if you have eyes to see. The scripture says, bless are your eyes for they see. You know, Revelation uh, 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 3, 18, tell you that, you know, uh, uh, the, the, it speaks about the eye salve. You got to see spiritually, man, with spiritual lens. See what's happening and take observation of what's going on around you, man. We are commanded to watch. Okay? Let me get uh, two scriptures real quick on how we are commanded to watch. And then we can close the lesson now. But the point is, this, this, these Boston markets chains are going out, um, going out of business, man. And that plays into that plays into a little bit more of the famine that's, that's, that, that's going to come. And it plays into no work for Egypt. Okay? Because we see more and more establishments going under. Okay? It's a whole list of rest uh, establishments that closing their doors, man. You could Google search them. All right? But let's get a... Uh, let's get a... Uh, First Peter's. First Peter's chapter 4, verse 7. It says, But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prior. Okay? Watch unto prior. So we're commanded to watch, man. So you got to take notice of things that's happening around you, man. That goes into you watching. Watching, you know, Lord said to keep watch. You got to stand in your tower, man. You know? And, and, and filter these things through the scriptures to edify the body. Right? We're going to get this last precept and we're going to close all right in the book of Luke. Luke chapter uh, 21. On verse 36 it says watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be able to be that ye be that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man watch ye therefore that's what it says watch you got to watch you got to keep watch take notice okay have your your observation antennas up paying attention for things that you could filter it through the scriptures, man, and edify the body, you know, so, yeah, Boston Market closing their doors, man, okay, and um, it's just signs of the times, more evidence of the signs of the times that we're in, okay, so with that, this has been take notice and keep watch, Lord willing, you were edified, I'm going to end the lesson there, giving all honor, glory, and praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekak, Dash. That my honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth and truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say shalom. Until the next time, shalom.